Hey, what's up? How's everyone doing? My name is David and this channel right here is all about growing your 360 photo booth business. Now, I know that a lot of guys have already jumped into the 360 photo booth business and your platform is about to arrive or it could be that your platform has already arrived or you've been doing this for a few months already and you're just trying to get more advice, more information that's going to help you strive in this cool, fun and entertaining 360 photo booth industry. Today, we're going to be going over a contract and this contract right here, guys, keep in mind that I paid money for this contract to be generated but i'm going to be giving it to you guys for hmm, free absolutely free to the first 100 people who download it it's going to be free for you guys okay so we're going to cover this contract and in this contract you guys are going to see important things that you need to disclose and also put in your contract for your next booking whether it's an individual client a business client or a client that's a big corporation this contract is not only going to help you be more professional looking when you're with your business but it's also going to give you peace of mind and it takes two to tangle so you two are going to agree on this contract so let's go ahead and dive into my laptop and we're going to go over the contract and the breakdown this contract once again is going to be available for you to just download absolutely for free you can open it up on google docs or any software that you have and just make whatever revisions you need to make to it so they can go ahead and match your business to the key and your clients information as well and guys don't forget subscribe and if this video is offering you any value which is the whole goal of mine during this mission during this lifetime to offer value to your life and your business please hit the like button and I'll see you guys right on my laptop let's go Okay guys, so here's a contract that I use. I want to share this contract with the whole community. Once again, this is uh, something that I paid for, but you can download right now for free. And like I said, all you have to do is fill in the blanks, okay? So photo booth contract, and then we'll read right here. It says it's the party's contract agreement made on whatever date it's going to be. Provider, Canary Capital Ventures. Your business is going to go right here with the mailing address of. It's going to be your business address right here. You're the provider. And then you're going to put in your client's information. Miss Parker with mailing address 888. Okay, so they're, they're client, your client's address is going to go right here. And then you scroll down. It says photo booth. The provider agrees to lease the following to the client. A 360 photo booth platform that holds up to four people. Captures a 360 degree video using an orbiting arm. You guys can put in whatever measurements of your photo booth right in here. This is this whole contract, you guys. You guys can, like I said, adjust it, revise it to your needs. And 360 photo booth. But this is going to be really helpful because most of it are, is, is basically for the 360 photo booth, okay? And then right here, event information. The provider will provide the photo booth for the following location, event date, start time, and end time, okay? This is what you guys agreed on, the location, the time, and day. And so you, you keep scrolling down and it says uh, here and after known as the event. And the provider will arrive one hour before the event time to set up the photo booth. I don't know about you guys, but I always give myself at least one whole entire hour to make sure I set up correctly and that I can get started on the troubleshooting if I need to and make sure I do a test run before I tell people, all right, let's go ahead and rock it out. Okay. And then here is section four, the payment, the client shall pay the total of $599. That's the rent <clears throat> amount that's due. If they haven't paid me the deposit this number is going to change of course according to whatever you're charging for whatever booking time they wanted and uh, for the photo booth duration of the event the rental amount should be paid as follows so if they if you require a deposit which i do i'm, I'm usually just ask for a 20 dollars deposit just to uh, make sure that they can lock in that date as part of the agreement the client is required to pay deposit in the amount of 20 dollars. the deposit should be credited and deducted from the rental amount Said deposit shall be deemed refundable if the client terminates this agreement within at least three days prior to the date of the event. So I, I said, okay, guys, if you guys can let me know three days in advance that the event is not going to work out or something happened, that's okay. I'll give you back your $20. Now, you guys remember, this is your business. You decide whether you want to give them a week, 24 hours, whatever you guys want. Okay, that's totally up to you. Balance due. The balance of the rental amount less any deposit is due upon arrival once a 360 photo booth has been completely set up. So what I'm telling the client here is that if you give me a $20 deposit on the day of the event when I show up and a 360 photo booth is completely set up, I expect payment. So I want the payment not upon arrival, but when I actually set up and you have a working 360 photo booth. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. So get a little closer especially on holidays such as christmas and new year's it's always extremely important that you collect the money upfront upon arrival 
Why? Because what's going to happen is a host is going to get tipsy, is going to get drunk, and then they might forget to pay you. They might they might leave the party before you can get a hold of them. It's all kinds of madness. And then the next day comes, right? And the next day, just remember the banks are not open, so it takes longer for them to deposit the money or for you to get the money. You have to wait the whole entire two days after the holiday to get a hold of them and get your money. So it's a huge pain in the butt. So what you want to do is you always want to get your money up front, especially on big holidays like that. If they say, oh, can I pay you later? No, we need the payment upon arrival. Be very firm with that. That's what I recommend. Now, as far as overage, okay, any overage in time will be billed at a rate of $200 an hour. So basically saying if they rent it for five hours and they're having a great ass time, and they want me to stick around for another hour, they are, they are agreeing on this contract, they're gonna be paying me an extra $200 for that extra hour I am staying. Once again, you guys can change this number however you please, okay? Then uh, return checks. The client will be under obligation to pay $100 or the maximum allowed under state law, whichever is higher for each return check. I honestly don't like collecting checks, but when I have business clients like I'm okay with accepting a company check as long as one, it has their name and their company on the check and it matches their ID. So I've, I've collected checks in the past and to this day I have not had any problems and that's because I match their name with their ID and it's an actual company check. It's like an LLC check. Rights to photos. The provider grants permission to use any and all media generated by the photo booth during the event and to be used for any purpose by the client. Provider hereby releases client any and all rights to any media, including photos, videos created by the photo. So what I'm saying right here is that the client has full rights and access to their uh, videos, okay? Now, you guys always don't want to ask your client, is it cool if I take some of your coolest videos and share them on social media? Most of the time, the answer is going to be yes, okay? So we're going to keep scrolling down here. Date changes. Any date change request must be made in writing as soon as possible before the event. This can also mean a text message or an email, okay? So you guys can put that in there. The possibility of a given date change is subject to availability and the receipt of a new agreement to replace this agreement. Both parties must consent to such a date change, okay? So that means you guys are both on the same page. You guys both agree that, okay, we're not going to do it on a Saturday. We're going to go ahead and move it to Sunday. So taxes, all applicable taxes will be applied and made known at the time of signing, okay? I, I'm not charging taxes for a service that I'm providing. Photo booth failure. Should the provider fail to provide a fully operational photo booth for the event, the client's only remedy will be a full refund. In such an event, the client waives any claim on further consequential damages or liability. If only partial services can be provided due to conditions beyond reasonable control of the provider, the payment shall be negotiated at the time of prorated basis. So basically saying, say they booked for two hours and within those two hours something happened whether it was like a natural disaster or a technical failure or you're gonna have to negotiate with your client and say okay we were, we were able to provide you with a full hour of service but failed to provide you with service after this uh after the first hour because x y and z happened so basically you guys would negotiate okay i'm prepared to give you this much of a refund and you guys just just remember guys at this point you want to keep the client happy especially if it was something on your end that failed right so put some thought into that and then terms and conditions the provider and client agree to the following terms and conditions so then we go down here i don't want to read this word per word guys because i'm trying to keep these videos short for you guys the cool part is that you guys now have access to this absolutely free 360 photo booth contract that you guys can use for your business moving forward and you guys can take your time, read it. And like I said, go back and change anything you feel is going to be a better match for your business and your agreement with your client. One of the things that I uh, added right here that I really want to go over with you guys is for, hold on, I got a phone call. Let me, let me give me one second, guys. So right here in this section, this is very important, guys, especially uh, if, you know, it's, it's going to be you and another, another person. And remember, there's a lot of people at this party. And a lot of people get drunk. A lot of people get high. It, it's a party. People are partying. And it says here, there will be zero tolerance when it comes to harassment and unruly behavior towards our 360 photo booth staff members. We have been hired to provide you with a positive and fun production, but we'll leave immediately if any of our team members feel unsafe. It's in our best interest to keep the party going, so we will contact the client of any attendees being belligerent. Payment will not be refunded if this type of incident occurs. So this right here, I, I did myself specifically just because I've been in situations where you do get that uh, attendee where 
they're just giving you attitude and they're just they're just mad at the world or they just had too many drinks or they just don't want to get off the booth they want video after video and they're just uh, uh an, an, an invitee they're not even the main host so what what i've done in the past is i'll try to address it myself the last thing i want to do is bother the host but if i feel like you know what uh this isn't this isn't working out. I'm not, the communication isn't there. I'll get a hold of the client and I'll let them know. And usually the client handles it really quick because basically they don't want that person that they invited to ruin it for everyone else. So I hope that's the case for you where your client sees the big picture and, and just works with you in that area. But definitely added this to the contract because I said, you guys are going to be going to events where there's going to be alcohol and uh, it happens sometimes. But for the most part, everyone has a great time and that's what it's all about. So, and just wrapping it up right here. Okay. You're going to put your, uh, your company name right here and then your client's name right here. And you guys both sign off on it. So you guys can hand this over to them in person. If you manage to go to their location before the actual event to check out the area, which, which is something I enjoy doing. I like checking out the area before. I, I go on on the day of the event and you can just kind of go over with them and then have them sign or you could send it to them as an email and they can sign on the uh, they can sign using a like a DocuSign or any other software and then send it right back to you and now you guys have a cool agreement and I think that's great because both of you guys are on the same page and you guys are both backed up by this cool contract right here that's going to be like I said available for you guys um, remember this isn't free but I'm giving it to you for free because I want you guys to get prepared and also feel confident going to these events. I know a lot of you guys right now are thinking, man, my event's coming up on this day and I feel like I'm not fully ready or you might be thinking to yourself. So here's the thing, guys. I'm going to make this big because I want to have a conversation with you guys. When it comes to business, there's different types of personalities. And I'll give you an example of what I mean by there's different types of personalities when it comes to business owners. There's always that business owner that has to do maximum amount of research and just spends way too much doing research and then finally makes a decision. But by the time they made a decision, people already made money. People already probably took some of the clients they were prepared to take on because they spend way too much time planning. That's your planner. OK, that's your your uh, your, you know, extensive planner. Then you have your uh, other type of business owners where they're just like, boom, let's go. Let's get it. Sales let's bomb. But like, and those guys just always go and hold, just, boom, just like zoom in. Like they don't do a lot of calculation. They don't do any analytics. They don't do much thinking. They just see the picture and they go for it. They, they take action quickly. And that's great. But remember, it's it. You're going to come across many mistakes and a lot of setbacks because you didn't really make any calculations. You just went with the flow. And this is a, that's that's one type of owner. And then you have the type of person who is waiting for everything to be perfect and what i mean by that is they are saying okay I'm, I, I need this because um if i don't have this it's not going to be as good as i think it, it could be so what they do is they spend lots of money buying a lot of unnecessary things to feel confident and feel ready for the event now to be completely open and, and transparent open with you guys i'm all three <laughs> i'm all three because it, it's like i'm a mixture of all three in a sense that I've seen myself in those and in, in, in those personality and then and, and you know really executing business using those specific characteristics and traits. I've been that guy where it's just like no 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 let's go let's go we got the money let's do it let's do it. And then I also been that guy where it's like hold a minute wait a minute let let me go ahead and, and do some some checking let me go ahead and, and I really test the waters before I do anything crazy. So try to find a happy medium like be somewhere in the middle don't be that person that needs to have every single thing before you say okay i'm ready to take on an event and don't be that person who just over over overly reacts and just goes for it but you got to find a balance okay make educated calculated decisions but also be proactive go for it you know do it learn from it grow this is what it's all about I wanted to share this information just like I wanted to share this cool contract that I think is going to steer confidence into you guys moving forward, especially dealing with clients uh, like bigger business clients or corporate clients. All right, guys. So remember to subscribe. If you're watching this if you're, and you're not subscribed, you, you can't download this for free. I'm sorry. But if you're subscribed, go ahead and download it. It's all yours. See you guys on the next one. Go ahead and like this video and uh, take care of yourselves. Peace. By the way, don't forget, at the end of every month, I'm giving out one of these U2, U200 lights that's lighting me up right now. 
or you guys can go with the talent. So I'm going to leave it up to you. The way you enter this contest is by simply going on Instagram, following me on Instagram and just taking a photo, a screenshot of your purchase just to show me that, hey, you are a brand new 360 photo booth member. And this is just a way that I can help you guys by raffling out one of these items and hopefully you win it. All right. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.